Hi everyone, I believe you are doing well wherever you are. Happy Sunday and uh, it's my hope and prayer that this video is going to find so well wherever you are. Now, a photo of David Ndi is going viral and uh, actually these photos were captured during Naivasha visitation by where the head of state was with the MPs, governors and the rest. And people ask several questions why David Ndi nowadays is is coming fatter and is just huge big stomach and uh, comments were placed at the social media again uh, people said several uh, options on that for on the photos they were saying that uh, whenever you see david in this stomach it means that economy is cool so i don't know <laughs> whether it's the one eating the economy or but Miguna Miguna came out and uh, asked a very interesting question here that uh, we ought to understand and share. Yes, you should understand it because this is whatever Miguna Miguna is uh, asking. What happened to David D? Just shot like that. And uh, in that picture I'm just displaying, David D before he was uh, given that as a legal economy advisor to the president and again the current David Ndi we have so this raises a lot of questions and people are asking several questions and as you know David Ndi is a man who will never keep quiet David Ndi and Mutai Nguni is all somehow the same Mutai Nguni knows what have made David Ndi to have such kind of a huge stomach and Mutai Nguni is coming out and uh, giving us more detail on this. He's saying, Mutai Nguni, leave David Ndi alone. It is the lamb chops at State House and a good appetite. My tummy was bigger when I was, <laughs> I was a resident there. And we had a bar. So <laughs> they had a bar, a lamb chop. So whatever you want in State House, you get uh, efficiently you get it plenty that is what Mutai Nguni is trying to say because Mutai Nguni was working with Uhuru Kenyatta if you can recall so it means there is still bar in state house while Ruto used to campaign and said nitatoa hiyo bar eni iko kwa ikulu nitahakikisha nimejenga kanisa na watu wa budo mungu I think if you can recall whatever you do to say on that. And uh, they humiliated Uhuru Kenyatta so much, saying, Oh, Akuna Bar, Wataweka, the Uhuru have his own bar, his state house, and Akunywa Sana, that's why he's not working. But now look at David D. They are the people who, who are prominent leaders in the country. They are the ones who are advising the president. They are the ones who ensure things are okay beside the president. And uh, David D. in 2018, while he was on the side of opposition, David D. Uh, actually responded, said something in social media which have shocked me. You, mean, you know, we normally follow things. We are not foolish, but we just keep quiet. David D. said, that is on 6th November 18th, thinking with the stomach is a very common application. In many parts of this dysfunctional country, it is, logi it is logical conclusion is that a well-fed slave is better off than a hungry free man. So this 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 this, this writing it was attacking Mtainguni. Now you understand? It was attacking Mtainguni by this time. So David D of 2023 is fatter than. David Ndi of 2018. But Mutai Nguni of 2018 was fatter than David Ndi. Uh, Mutai Nguni of 2023. Sorry. You understand? So that is why this has raises a lot of questions. And Kenyans also came to respond. Uh, these are the comments from Kenyans. Uh, Kenyans are saying... You, J use use O OK seven that one. People, full stop, are, 
full stop getting full stop fat full stop out full stop of full stop poor full stop tax full stop and money he was he meant that people are getting fat out of poor tax money now he was trying to split it one by one for you to understand then another one at Esther Kabiru Tumbo Imeja Hydrated Sites <laughs> That is whatever <laughs> is coming out from Kenyans You know Kenyans you are always very funny And uh, when I read your comments you, you, you guys you, you, you always say the truth Which is bitter Like this one Tumbo Imeja Hydrated Seeds Now look at those comments That unique that true and you can't hide anymore because sincerely speaking David in this stomach can tell you how he lives how he's comfortable with Kenya Kwanzaa government as president who ought to be like David D is getting thinner 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 every day when you look at those pictures I'm just displaying Ruto seems to have so much stress as David D is the one uh, siphoning his blood I can use that <laughs> and David D is responding remember we are still continuing David D is responding after all those nonsense uh, you have been told in social media David D to be overweight is a, a remarkable uh, personal challenge of little on on no consequence to the general public to be empty headed is an incurable societal societal burden then he speaks in their own language vernacular language I don't want to read that to have so many ambassadors with nothing better to talk on a public platform is a national tragedy tragedy that is the remarks and the comment which comes from David D. Now, what normally happens in state house is that when you are having a, a, a good job in state house, you are being given free accommodation, food, anything and you, I, I think you are not allowed even to get out because the the, 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 the inner circle the deep, deep state system the intelligent people believes with one voice or one spirit that if you get out you are going to split whatever is happening and this will make president life to be in danger simple as that so these people like David D they are living in state house I think so and again, Hussein Muhammad, these are the people who are living in state house. You should know that. So, they are there 24 hours to check on the president and check whatever is happening in the country. So, if things are good, they are telling Rais Mkubwa it is good. These are the people, Akina Devindi, are the first hand information. In the Republic of Kenya that the first and information not even the deputy president this is beyond Rigidi even him, if he will be the president he will have his own people so these are the people who enjoy tax so much they are being paid huge money you should know that so I think the men the the man in state house said he don't drink and going to destroy bar but now the president seems to have allowed bar in state house and again uh, chop meat or lamb chop as have been said by Mutai Nguyen because Mutai Nguyen were the people who used to work in state house they know whatever is happening they know all secret and they understand everything so you can't convince them Ladies and gentlemen, somebody somewhere asked 
that he wonder if robbers mind about the poor people. That is a question which I've been asked by a unique Kenyan born in the Republic of Kenya, citizenship, having ID and everything. So these are the questions that they are asking. Why is David D seems to have cool life as Kenyans and the presidents are like poor people, distressed people, are in like a refugee camp country? Those are the questions we are asking ourselves. Yes, before I carry on with these more updates, I want to appreciate you so much for the support you always offer to this channel because if it was not your support, then this channel could have not reached where it is as of now. Thank you very much and continue watching our videos, like, share and give us your opinion. And the, the, to the new subscribers, I also want to appreciate you. Thank you for good job. And again, if this might be your first time watching me at Zalm Kenya TV YouTube channel, I also request you just take a one second and click that subscription button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. After you subscribe, give our video a thumb of likes because this will automatically make our YouTube platform to grow and comment when it is necessary. I mean your opinion and watch our videos. Thank you very much and let's proceed. As things are still good for those who surround the president, David Lee are among people who we can say the luckiest people in the Republic of Kenya. They understand whatever they are doing, they enjoy the tax, they enjoy their money, they enjoy free accommodation, they enjoy security and the rest. And that is why we are seeing is getting or growing uh, fatter day in, day out. As people are coming out and questioning, what might be the wrong with David D? Some also humiliated him, saying that David D is thinking with stomach. That is why he can't make economy to be stabilized. And I believe I've, I've again displayed the, the, the response coming from David D on those remarks. But in 2018, we saw David D salivating. Or now his colleague, Mutai Nguni, was fat. And I don't know if these people, there's good, it means there's good life in state house, sincerely speaking. Nata mimi natamani tu nifike huko, but ju kama David D hako hivo, then it means maesha huko ninyue, hakuna hakuna mambo mingi. Ni kama ye, uh, tax, uh, he is not being taxed even this housing levy. I don't think so. So he is enjoying and he seems to be fat. Fatter than even the deputy president. So these are the photos Kenyans asked and went viral and asked several questions on this. I don't know if 2027, 20, how will David Ndi be like? Can you just try to imagine? If one year and some months is this way, then it means he won't even pass the gate, state house gate. He should do, have a gym and uh, have something to do. I think so. But now, let's come to the importantness. What is the main agenda that David and have done to the country and Kenya Kenyans can say I kweli David Ni ametufanyia hii ama aki amejaribu kufanya hii ni nini important David Ni amefanya sincerely speaking apart from advising the president as much as he have advised the president economy imeenda wapi yesterday mulu watch news mwingine alikuwa anajitokeza ananiambia Oh Zion, wewe unasema propaganda. Nilipweka pale grey. Tanzania, Kenya, Namibia. I've been plotted grey by FATF. Simuliona. Sasa, Divindi is getting fat. Eh? While our country economy is sinking. I don't want to dwell much on his fatness. 
we want to concentrate on whatever he can deliver to Kenyans, whatever he can do to restrain or to restore our economy. And as much as he's advising the president, he ought to advise the president, strengthen his advice, advisors, and tell him the truth and ensure that Kenyans don't suffer, ensure our economy is still strong, and things to be okay. I think that's the message I can give to David Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, what are your take and conclusion? As I've been exposed all secret happening in State House by Mtai Nguni, and again, uh, Kenyans responded to David Lee's photo, who are being led by Dr. Miguna Miguna. And this marks the end of our discussion, as I am eagerly waiting for your opinion at the comment section below. Bye-bye, and like this video, share, watch, and give us your opinion.